Hi everyone, I'm Shaiful Izzuan bin Mahmud from Polytechnic Sultan Idris Shah. This video will show you how to terminate UTP crossover cable with RJ45 connectors. UTP stands for Unshielded Twisted Pair Cable. UTP cables are widely used in computer networking such as Ethernet for short to medium distances because of their relatively cheap price compared to optical fiber and coaxial cables. Ethernet cables can be wired as straight through or crossover. The straight through is the most common type and is used to connect computers to hubs or switches. Crossover Ethernet cables is more commonly used to connect same devices such as computer to computer or router to router. Okay guys, let's begin our demonstration on how to terminate a UTP crossover cable. First of all, let me share with you the tools that are needed during the demonstration. Number one, one meter length of CAT6 UTP cable. Number two, RJ45 connectors. Number three, crimping tools. Number four, wire cutters. Number five, wire stripper. And number six, ethernet cable tester. A crossover cable has the second and third pass on the RJ45 connector at one end, reverse at the other end. The cable pinouts at the T568A standards on one end and the T568B standard on the other end. The two following diagrams illustrate this concept. Let's start the demonstration. First, determine the cable length required. For this demo, I use 1 meter length of cable. Cut off a piece of cable to the desired length and using your wire stripper, remove 5 cm of the cable jacket from both ends. Hold the four pairs of twisted cables tightly where the jacket was cut away. Cut the strip and the plastic separator. Be careful not to cut or damage the wire. Untwist the wire. Reorganize the cable pass into the order of the T568A wiring standard. Take as much care as possible to maintain the twist in the cable. This provides noise cancellation. Flatten, straighten and line up the wire using the thumb and forefinger. Ensure that the cable wires are still in the correct order for the T568A standard. Using your wire cutters, trim the four pairs in a straight line to within 1.25 to 1.9 cm. Place an RJ45 connector on the end of your cable with the prong on the underside pointing downward. Firmly insert the wires into the RJ45 connector. All wires should be seen at the end of the connector in their proper positions. If the wires are not extending to the end of the connector, take the cable out, rearrange the wires as necessary, and reinsert the wires back into the RJ45 connector. If everything is correct, 
Insert the RJ45 connector with cable into the crimper. Crimp down hard enough to force the contacts on the RJ45 connector through the insulation on the wires, thus completing the conducting path. Repeat the previous steps using T568B color wiring scheme for the other end. We are already done for both sides. Let's test the cable with the Ethernet cable tester. Place one end at the transmitter side and the other end on the receiver side. Make sure the LED blinking according to the correct color arrangement. Connect two pieces together via NICs using your Ethernet crossover cable. Working with a lab partner, set your PC to one of the IP addresses shown in the addressing table. For example, if your PC is PCA, your IP address should be set to 192.168 10.1 with a 24-bit subnet mask. Your partner's IP address should be 192.168.10.2. The default gateway address can be left empty. Using the crossover cable you made, connect the two PCs together via their NICs. On the PCA command prompt, Ping the PCB IP address. Note, the window firewall may have to be temporarily disabled for pings to be successful. If the firewall is disabled, make sure you re-enable it at the conclusion of this lab. Repeat the process and ping from PCB to PCA. Assuming IP addressing and firewall are not issues, your pings should be successful if the cables were properly made. That's all for today. I hope everyone can follow the step properly. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.